What is going on guys? Grave here today. I kind of want to talk about Update 29, kind of my thoughts about it. Of course, I play here on PS4. It came out last week. I've had a ton of play time with this over the last several days and of course this weekend so far. I've really been enjoying it, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website and a 5% discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. Now there's still some bugs, there's still some issues, there's some things that were around in the past that are still there. There's some things that have come up since the update that are they're, they're causing problems for you know all platforms. And of course I play here on PS4, so I know everybody has different issues depending on the platform they play on. Hopefully those things will get worked on. Uh, I know those issues are still there. I know some people are still talking about there's lag still there. I'm not sure if the lag will ever just completely disappear from the game at all. Who knows? Uh, I, I'm not expecting it to. We can all be hopeful that it will. But besides the, the issues that we're seeing, I feel that Update 29 was a pretty good update in my opinion. The first thing, of course, the CP changes. Um, I feel that the CP needed to be changed. Now, whether you're on the side of you like it, you're kind of in the middle, you don't mind it, you know, you're just not kind of, you don't really have an opinion about it. I know some people do not like it at all. And of course, some people may agree or disagree with what I say, let's kind of talk about or say in this video. That's perfectly fine. Everybody has their own opinion. But I feel the CP needed, needed to change. Now, of course, 3600 has always been the CP cap. We just have always been locked at certain, you know, levels. Over the last several years, we've been locked at 810. For me, it's something fun to do again because I, as I've talked about in past videos years ago, you know, I've been playing since it came out in 2015 here on console, but years ago when I hit 810, when that was made, you know, kind of as the cap, I just started doing housing, started farming, started doing a lot of other stuff in game. I really didn't grind CP anymore. So I was only right around a level 900 when update 29 came out. Now, if I would continue to grind years ago when, when it got to 18, I might could have been around 2000 by now, who knows? But personally for me, it gives me something to do. So I'm kind of enjoying having all this new stuff to unlock and to test and that kind of thing. The two new dungeons, I feel that they were done very well. Personally for me, some of the better dungeons they've done in a while, design wise, boss fight wise, just look, the secret bosses, all that kind of stuff. They're really, they're really, really neat. I like the two new dungeons. I like the way they handled them. I like the way they were made, kind of the way they were built. Uh, I feel like they're a bit different than some of the stuff we'd seen in the past. And I, I think that was a good thing for the game because Sometimes some of the dungeons start to feel really similar in, in, the, in mechanics and things. And these two do, uh, these two new dungeons uh, don't quite give me that feel anymore. So, like I said, I think they did a really good job with those. Base stat increase. I know a lot of people are saying, man, I have a lot of magic. I have a lot of stam or a lot of health now. I think it's good overall because, you know, we did get a slight nerf, which we'll talk about here in a minute, in damage. But that base stat increase is good for all players. I think it's really good for new players because now new players may have a little bit more survivability in, in, in things while learning mechanics and whatnot. So I think that base stat increase was good for everyone. Also, sustain feels a lot better. Now, the video you're seeing in the background was before Update 29 came out. So the sustain is a lot better than it is now, even in this video. Uh, even though sustain was not awful in the past, it was not great, though. But I feel sustain... I don't know something about it. It just feels a lot better now than it did before update 29. Some things that were kind of added in quality of life wise. There's a lot of stuff in these uh, patch notes, but two things that really stuck out to me, of course, is the speed passive in the assault skill line. Now you don't have to have rapids unlocked anymore. You only have to be assault level three, put a point into the, uh, the passive there in the assault skill line and everyone, no matter what level you are, can get uh, as long as you've hit 10 and you can go into the PVP world and get this unlocked. Um, uh, you can have a 30% mount increase in speed, which is great for all players, new players, you know, vet players alike. If you don't know how to do that, I will link the video in the top corner. I made a video about it a few days ago. You can check out how easy it is. It doesn't take about 30 minutes to do it, maybe even less for some. Another good quality of life change was the ability to travel to the outside of your home. This is probably one of the most overlooked things uh, in the game, in my opinion. It used to always be a pain to have to travel into your house and then out of your house to get where you're going. A lot of people use their homes, if you own a lot of homes, to kind of travel back and forth. You know, that way they don't have to use waste shrines. They don't have to, you know, find their way out of a delve dungeon, whatever the case may be. Now that we have the option to travel to the outside of your home, I think this is, like I said, one of the most overlooked things in this update when it comes to quality of life. Because I think this is a very big help just in general. Uh, it helps out a lot with having to, you know, you get to skip an extra load screen. If you were just traveling into your home, you have to go out the door, 
you know, so you have the load screen going to your home and you have the load screen going out. Now you just have that one load screen going from wherever you are to the front of your house. And I think that is the, one of the best things they have done in a long time when it comes to quality of life, just overall, when it comes to, you know, kind of fast travel, that kind of thing. Uh, I think there's going to be a bit more diversity now. I know a lot of people think, oh, Meta always stays the same. This is the best. This is the best. Um, in my opinion, I like to think outside the box with some of my stuff. I know not everybody's the same, but there's a lot of stuff going on out there right now with bills. There's people using, you know, uh, dual wield again with, you know, mage classes or, you know, mag classes. And I, I think that's, you know, uh, it's bringing some different diversity to the game with this update. There's always diversity. You can do a lot of different things. You don't have to just stick with a meta build, in my opinion, to be able to be successful and to have a lot of fun in the game. So definitely go out there and try things out. While we still have these free respects with skills and things, it's the best time now to start, you know, messing with things and just tweaking things and trying different things than you normally would. Even though that, you know, I, I talked about a few minutes ago, you know, the stat increase is there. A lot of people are worried that, you know, the, the nerf and crit and things are really going to hurt or harm their builds. You may have to tweak your build to get it back to where it was. I think overall it was probably needed. I'm not quite sure if it was needed as much as they did. It's only about a 10%, 8%. But I feel with the extra sustain now, the extra health mag and stand we have, it's really not that big of a deal because you can stay in fights longer and that kind of thing, if that makes sense. So that damage nerf was not as impactful as some people make it out. Anyway, guys, leave me a, a comment with your thoughts. Do you feel that, you know, Roles are important now. Do you feel this update was a good one? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.